you guys can suggest whatever weapons you want to see me use. Uh, if there's something in the traders that you want me to buy, I'm sure I'll be able to scrap enough money together to uh, pick it up. And, you know, if there's something that you know I have that you want me to see, just leave a comment. I welcome it on really any of my series. I can't really guarantee that I'll be able to do that in a mod like People's Soup, but SGM, again, like, that's sort of a mod that I just like to play around in at this point. So for sure, recommend whatever you like. What's up, bro? Now I'm just going to talk to this guy and see if there's anything I can get rid of here. Uh, the AK-74, I don't know if I want that. I don't think I want that. And the, uh, the Scar-M, I don't want that either. I think that's... No, we can actually sell two Deagles. Uh, one of the Berettas. And the Scopes, I kind of want to hold on to. To be honest. So, that's a, almost six grand. It's decent. What is this thing? Uh, I can't remember using that. Hmm. Interesting. The AS50. Yeah, I tried that out a little bit. Okay, regardless, let's go back to my secret stash area if we can sneak... No, we can't sneak past that dude. Okay, hopefully all my stuff's there. If my theory of weapons not despawning in this mod, or loot not despawning in this mod, is correct, then they should still be sitting out here. God, you can run fast in this mod. Yeah, here they are. So what do I have? I have an AS Val, an RPG-7, and an A-94 here. What do I not want going down to the underground? Well, first of all, it all depends on how much ammo I have. I would like to use this, but unfortunately I have no 7.62 on me. Like, whatsoever. So I think I can safely... Let me just drop this loaded. I don't really, I don't really want to take the, uh, the ammo with me. I'll drop the uh, the 50 cal. Don't really think I'm gonna need that, although it might be a wise decision to take it. All I'm really looking for here is some uh, F1s, and I think I might be able to buy some from the trader that I just left. And then the you know the M79 will be very useful. We still have probably 12 grenades left, counting the one that's in the side there already. So that's good. I think the Deagle I don't need. I'll drop that. And there we go, our, our loot pile that nobody's noticed so far, stole from. I don't think there's any patrols, like random patrols around here, so I don't think enemies will actually ever go over there. Or not enemies, uh, anyone will ever actually go over there. So back up to this trader, and I just want to pick up a few F1s if at all possible. Do you have any stock? F1 grenades, please, please, please. Probably going to be down near the ammo. Uh, come on. Yes, he has lots of F1s. So how much do they cost? 800 a pop. So, I say spend 5600 sounds okay. These are, like I said, exceedingly valuable. So cool, we got 7 F1s now. I think we're good to go. What's the weight at? 67, that's fine. I could touch up my suit, but I don't really think it's necessary. I'd rather wait until it gets a bit more damage to bother. Uh, I got that brand new helmet too that has night vision, of course. It looks a bit different in this mod. The The contrast is a bit punchier. Never noticed that before. Maybe it's just because I'm outside. Maybe this is how the uh, vanilla night vision did function. And I'm just so used to the SGM night vision that I'm not noticing it. And how many uh, shotgun shells do we have? We have Roughly, I'd say, uh, well, how many do we have in the chamber? I don't have an ammo counter. Probably eight, so 59. I think this takes eight rounds, maybe seven. And I better save it here just to be cautious. You can never be too careful of those uh, random anomalies. Although, I don't think they're random in this mod at all. They're just placed in these maps. So if you memorize the locations of anomalies, then you shouldn't ever really have too much of a problem. And I heard some crazy shit going on over there. Not too interested. Now, am I going the right way? We came in here, I think. But the way out of this level is here. Past a sort of enemy checkpoint. There's a bunch of pissed off mercs up there in that uh, farm area. So I'm going to avoid that at all costs. Don't really want to get uh, into an altercation with them. 
Just want to get to the uh, the agri ag ag bleh, the agriprom underground and do whatever underground stuff there. And if you're wondering or you're saying, you know, you cleared out that underground, there shouldn't be too much resistance after you clear it out, right? Well, you would think, but uh, enemies respawn there, and it's not just the same batch of enemies. It's actually... I'm not going to spoil anything. You'll see when we get down there. But I'd say it's a bit more challenging than the first time. Well, maybe not. The first time we had a bunch of snorks, so... That was probably a bit tougher in some ways than what we're going to be facing down here. But The F1s are going to go a long way into uh, helping solve some of our problems in here. The portal should be right up here, I think. Oh, I'm gonna have to get past these anomalies here. Okay, I'm just quick saving it. So I don't run into anything and kill myself right before the exit. There we go. Should be fine now. Yep. On to Yantar. And I actually can't remember where this spawns you. If it's in the factory, I, I don't think it is in the factory. I think it's just the, um, yeah, it's just the standard portal here. And the way you, uh, you enter from the cordon. Okay. Do I want to stop by my stash here? This is, I don't know, maybe. This is one of the only places in the entire game where you can actually stash your loot. It's... One of the only lootable, or no, not lootable, one of the only uh, sort of openable boxes I've ever found in this mod. Chests, if you want to call them that. So I might actually stop by here and see what I have. Maybe I need some more ammo. For now, though, I'm getting kind of hungry. And one of you was asking, how do you tell when you're hungry in this mod? Well, use these little uh, bar indicators here. Hunger is sprint, essentially. So you can usually tell uh, what your full part is here. If you upgrade your suit to give you more energy recovery and that kind of stuff, then uh, it'll be higher, obviously. But uh, if it's down low, like four or five bars, then you can usually tell that you're hungry. So that's how I do it. If you're running out of stamina very often, then it's usually a good indication that you might be hungry. So what do I have here? Do I want anything to take? No, I, I'll deal with this later. Uh, the M203 might be useful later on, because we are going to be getting a nice Hi, batch of M203 grenades. But that's, again, in the future here. So I guess we're just going to go into the factory here. I'm probably just going to take the back way. It's a bit easier to do it that way, or maybe not, actually, I don't know. We'll see. I might want to actually just clear out this area if there's any mutants around. Because like I've said before, there tends to be some respawning, you know, chimeras, snorks, that kind of thing here. And it'd be much easier if I just took them out instead of having to deal with them later. When I might not be in a, as good a situation. Just being cautious here, I don't want to sprint too much. Keeping my ears open here, trying to hear anything. That's probably my number one tip in Stalker. Or maybe not my number one tip, but uh, a tip that ranks very high up. If you're new to this game, if you're having trouble getting, you know, ambushed by mutants, if you have headphones, then uh, use those and listen. If you have speakers, then, you know, turn the volume up. That's all I can recommend, because you're going to want to hear what's coming before it actually reaches you. And I, I've played with speakers a lot. I, I usually don't use headphones when I'm just playing by myself. And I always turn them up in Stalker because... Oh, shit. This guy has to be hostile. Uh, hey there, bro. What's your deal? What's your problem? Oh, God! I didn't even know... How did those guys not show up on my binoculars? Okay. Good thing I saved it back there. Jeez. I don't, I don't know why I thought that guy was just a lone merc. Obviously, I was a mistake, and I didn't save it nearly as uh, uh, soon as I thought I did. Okay, so change of plans. I'm not going to go that way. 
Those guys can go suck an egg, because I am going to go in the same way that I was going in here before, just jumping, doing some platforming. And hopefully when I come out, it's not going to be night. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. It might actually be... Well, you know what? We can actually get back out this way if we need to. And we don't have to go back to the cordon anytime soon, so... Yeah, this is probably the best way to do things. I was gonna say we should clear them out now while it's daytime and it's, you know, better visibility for me. But I don't even think we'll have to deal with them at all. Okay, let me just check my psi protection. It's pretty high up there, but I might want to put this on. Yeah, that's probably better. The, the Sphere M12 doesn't offer too much in the way of psi protection. Now, I'll definitely want to save it here. And this shotgun should be able to take care of um, bloodsuckers if I run across them. But I think we should be clear here. I haven't had too many mutants respawn in this factory area. So I'm thinking we'll be safe. Now, uh, did I miss any stashes? I don't think I did. I'm just going to go straight down. Not worry too much about this. Okay, transition point was reached. Now once again here, I'm actually going to have to stop the recording and switch the uh, the graphics down to full dynamic lighting, uh, as I mentioned before. So I'll do that and I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so here we go. And the reason you can actually change that while once you're in the underground is because the crash only happens uh, once you get to that main chamber. I think it has to do with particles or something along those lines. Not totally sure, but I can almost guarantee you'll get a crash if you don't actually change this to uh, or lower your graphical settings. A couple of you I've seen have written comments that haven't seen my earlier videos. You know that's fine, but uh, you know if you're getting a crash here, turn down your settings. And I was gonna say, is there a reason my audio is so low? Okay, so here, I can't exactly remember what the first thing we have to deal with here is. Let me just turn my volume up a, a tad. Okay, there we go. I can sort of hear now. So, zombies are the first obstacle, and, you know, they're not that hard, but there is a metric ass load of zombies here that we're going to have to take out. So take out your knife. It's a one-shot kill most of the time. Just aim for the neck, that's what I do. Slash and aim for the neck. The stab doesn't seem to work all that well, although... Yeah, th this is a bit too loud now. So just line them up, take them out. They shouldn't be able to do any damage to me with my suit. Yeah, I think I'm good. They might do a bit of damage if they really swarm me, so I'm gonna be a bit careful here. I may have... I need to start getting some uh, some actual kills here. Okay. Still not taking any damage, which is good. Just aim for the neck. There we go, come on. I should be taking a lot of damage here, but oh, maybe the stab is better. Looks like it might be. This is a really cheesy way of doing it, but I don't even think this would be possible without the knife. The zombies in this mod take so much damn damage, it's unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. I, I think it might be a, a glitch, actually, in uh, like the coding, the, the scripting of these guys. Maybe they added like a, or put the decimal point somewhere where it wasn't supposed to be in the, uh, the health file, or the health uh, parameter. I don't know, I'm not going to assume that this was, you know, uh, unintentional, but... I don't know what the deal is, they take so much damage. So there we go, I don't know if that was all of them. But I didn't take any uh, real damage there. Can't even see anything at all. How's my suit holding up? My suit took a beating. But that's kind of why I didn't want to repair it until later. So here's even more zombie assholes. It's funny, if you play this back in slow motion, you can see their necks stretch out when you get a headshot on them. It's pretty hilarious. If you watch it frame by frame, the way they, their bodies are sort of elastic, it's pretty funny. 
get a kick out of it. Okay, so I'm, I had to do a bit of backtracking here. I'll probably uh, slot this in in the beginning of this uh, underground section so it sort of uh, keeps the continuity. This is where the gas canister is. It's down this main hallway. It's going to be on the, uh, the left side here. It's pretty hard to miss. It's a big red cylinder, and you can kind of tell because there's this big uh, hole in the wall here next to it. So, uh, yeah. Got these Islams here that I took care of earlier. The the dead mutants don't despawn. Which is kind of interesting. You can see everything you've killed ever in this mod. Okay, so that was all the zombies. Uh, I, I'm 90% sure I looted both these backpacks, so I'm not going to go back and check the other one. I'm almost certain I did. Now here, I don't know if there's going to be anything respawning in this main area. Might just be some old uh, zombies, but I don't I don't know if there'll be anything here. Might want to just. Oh, okay. This guy I didn't kill earlier. He's gonna be a bit of a problem, but that's what the M79 is for, right? One direct shot to the face with this, and he should go down. As long as he doesn't be a an ass here and run around. Okay, one shot didn't do it. I don't really want to damage myself more. What the hell? Okay, I guess I just made a, an automatic seven grand off of that. I didn't even remember that happened. I'm bleeding a little bit. Now, spoiler alert, that is one of three that we're going to have to deal with, I believe, if not more, uh, librarian-wise. So that's why I bought the F1s. One F1 will take them out if it's well-placed. Might want to quick save it here. These guys are hilarious when they die. Their clipping sort of glitches out and they float above the ground. It's hilarious. Okay, so I don't even think I want to put anything... Like, I haven't used anything but two uh, two grenades so far. Two M203 grenades. So here is possibly where we'll have to deal with another one. I think I'm just going to equip my F1s, actually. Just pull the, the pin out of this one. Keep my ears peeled. Ears peeled, yeah. It's keep your eyes peeled that I'm thinking of there. Oh, God! Yeah, that guy scared the shit out of me, but, uh, okay. That spiral staircase is going to be a bit of a, an issue. Although, now that I know he's there, I should be able to just um, toss one down there. Okay, which is the direction I'm, I'm going here? I didn't even know. Nope, that's where we came from. Okay, I got all turned around here. This place you can barely see, like, I don't know if turning down the uh, the graphical settings limits your flashlight range. It certainly seems like it does. It didn't change the uh, the lighting distance parameter at all. Or setting, I should say. It's not really a part. Well, I guess it is, but... You know what I'm trying to say here. Now this guy, hopefully I can see him before anything too serious happens here. I'm just going to toss one like there. Maybe that'll alert him to come up. Hello there, librarian. You coming up here? No? I think if I place one right down there, right down the staircase, that might be a good hit. You can hear him making those crazy ass noises. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this slowly. And there is a poltergeist nearby, which is, of course, not an ideal situation. So I think he's coming up here. That's kind of exactly what I wanted. I do not want to have to deal with him on the stairs. Okay. Shit. Okay, that was weird. I didn't know there was a poltergeist left here. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what to do now. 
I think I just saved it too. I, I double quick saved there. I can hear him down here. Oh shit! That's a, that's a death. There's no way around that. Do not throw grenades on stairs. <laughs> I thought I had this locked down. I thought I had the strategy for this, uh... Down pat. Okay. Okay, that might have killed him. I can still hear something. Oh! Okay, wow, these guys scare me like crazy when they do that. Okay, heal up. Our suit's still taking a beating. It's down to the yellow now, but uh, that's fine. It's pretty cheap to repair anyways. Now, I believe I probably got both of them there. So again, just making sure I'm quick saving here. This will waste this grenade, but I don't really even care. Okay. There's actually probably another one down here. Okay, I keep blowing myself up with grenades here. So I think I'm going to uh, use a bit of a different approach and actually spam some uh, 40 mils at him. Seems like it's going to be a better idea. Uh, so the last librarian is just down this hallway here. Just sort of take this slow. My vision distance is not great here. Okay, should be right around here. Okay, just keep backtracking. Come on! There we go, jeez. That guy took a lot of damage. I'm really actually surprised I didn't die there, but <laughs> I'm not complaining. So that's all of them, I think. Save it here. Did I? You can't loot that guy. Never mind. Okay, so that's pretty much everything we're ever going to have to do in this underground area here. I don't know of any other missions that take place down here, so... We should be safe. And I don't think there's any way to get past there without going prone, and there's no prone in Vanilla Stalker, at least. Okay, so we're out. That took a bit of trial and error to get. But overall, it wasn't too bad. And again, popping right out here. That's fine. Do I want to go to the scientist bunker? You know what? I think I might. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, but I'll, I'll talk to uh, the Sakharov dude. It's not Sakharov, obviously. Uh, whatever his name is, the scientist here. See if he has any anything interesting in his inventory that I want. If I can not get stuck up on the door there. And Novikov here. I might want to get some upgrades. Is there any work? If you're up for a challenge and willing to travel, what is this? Oh, okay, yeah. The, the guy in the Pripyat to do research disappeared near the school. I know exactly what to do there. So, in your inventory, what do you have? You know what, I'm going to stock up on M203s. Yeah, that, that seems reasonable. What else could I get? I could get two more F1s, which I am actually going to do. Sweet. So that's all I want here. I don't think I'm going to buy any other weapons. But again, if you see anything that catches your eye and you want me to try it out, you know, just let me know. I might not be able to, to buy it once I'm, you know, further in the game. <laughs> Or don't have enough money, but for sure just, you know, leave a comment. 
Okay, so this guy, how much is it going to cost to repair my suit? Uh, eight grand. Sure, that's actually okay. Uh, my gas mask is fine. What are my guns? I'll wait until we get back to the army warehouses to repair those. For now, I think that's fine. The suit was what's most important to me. And this guy's going to push me out of the way. Come on, bro. Just go ahead. Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh my god, get out of the way. Ugh. <laughs> I hate how if you like go up to the NPCs, they turn around to talk to you and then they block doorways. It's kind of annoying. Now I don't think there's a bed in uh, the army warehouses, but we have night vision now, so that shouldn't be a huge problem. I might actually want to equip my sphere right now. Just in case. Again, this is some contrasty night vision. It works though, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> and save it too, because I haven't done that yet. Look out for mutants, obviously. That's just standard procedure by this point. Always be looking out for mutants. And enemy stalkers, of course. It's not like those aren't an issue. Now, I believe someone told me there's a stash up here that I, uh, I missed earlier. Yeah, you're right. What's in here? Just some ammo. That's a decent stash, actually. It has some F1s. So thank you. I think it was Xerxes that mentioned uh, there was a stash up there, so thanks, man. Good to get more loot, always. Okay, just pull up my shotgun here, I think. Just in case there's some serious mutants up here. I think I'm just going to run with my flashlight on here. It's not quite dark enough to need night vision just yet. Although it's pretty damn close. And next time I'm here, if there is a next time, I might want to head up to the chemical anomaly there. Because now I have the veils, I should be able to pick up any artifact that spawns. So I definitely want to do that. I can't remember where I found the, uh, the second bubble that I got. Because obviously we got one from the uh, the guy that was locked in the jail back in the cordon. But I can't remember where I got the other bubble. I think it might have actually been the chemical field here, but I'm not going to need that right now anyways. I'm still running the full dynamic lighting setting. I actually should probably change that once I get into the uh, army warehouses here, and I think I will. Alright, so full dynamic lighting, direct X11 mode is back on. The graphics are back up to snuff. And I'm going to go turn in that gas canister at the Freedom Base here. And I can't believe the timing that we pulled off there. It was getting dark in the Yantar, and it looks like almost probably 10 hours past here. And it's pretty much sunrise, I think. Let me. I might as well check the clock here so I'm not horribly wrong. Oh, well, looks like I am horribly wrong. It's, uh, evening. <laughs> I thought this was sunrise. Oh well. That's okay, we can we can do some night, mi night missions. It's not like it's gonna matter all that much once we get to, uh, the hospital and the underground. Or the underpass, rather. I'm gonna quick save here because it looks like there's some anomalies here. Yep, for sure. Just tossing bolts. I actually got a comment a while back uh, asking uh, what purpose the bolt served and that is you know just obviously to trip anomalies throw one in front of you and if it's an Electra then it'll you know spark everywhere if it's a, a spatial or gravitational anomaly then you'll get this sort of whooshing effect here as you can see it's just for pinpointing uh, anomalies so whoever you were hopefully that helps you out now, I don't know if there's going to be anything left to respawn here. I honestly don't. What a beautiful sight there. Gotta love evenings and, you know, sunrises and sunsets in Stalker. It's truly amazing that the skyboxes look so good at this time. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Almost back in the uh, Freedom Area. Forgot how much smaller these maps were compared to the uh, 
the regular, you know, Call of Pripyat maps. But again, this is not a small map by any means, I'm not saying that. Just that uh, it seems, I guess the, the vanilla Call of Pripyat maps seem a bit smaller than they actually are. They don't seem all that huge, but uh, they're definitely the biggest in any Stalker game. Thought that was a mutant. It's not. Thank goodness. Okay. Almost home. Back to the Freedom Base we go. I saw a piggy up here, but I don't know where he went. That's fine. And this guy, I believe, well. has more missions? Yeah, I never told him that the scout had been killed. Okay, so we got an M14 from him. And that was his last mission, well, actually. How much is our... Yeah, our weight's over now. So the M14. What do I think of this rifle? Uh, well, the sights. That's the main problem. There's no... You can't see through the back sight. It's like a, a solid piece of metal. So I had to align the sights like this. And they, they do shoot, like, right where you aim. And it is fully automatic. But I don't know. Not a huge fan of it, actually. I'd rather use my XM8 and my, uh, what is this, Mossberg 590? Yeah, I forgot I can't sprint at all here. So we turned the gas canister into Digtyrev, and, uh, you know, not I don't think he's a major Digtyrev from Call of Pripyat. But, you know, he shares a similar name, so you might think he is. And we're not actually playing as Major Dig, we're, uh, the... I can't remember our name, actually. <laughs> Well? That's pretty bad. The gray one, I think. Here's our gas canister. That was one crazy place down in the dungeon. Okay, I knew it. I knew it would be, which is why the reward is so good. Okay, go see our technician. I arranged for him to show you what's available and to allow you the pick of the bunch. There's still a last job if you're interested. Okay, so I guess I'll pick up the last job here. Crash helicopter in our territory it was originally en route to the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Your task is to explore the wreck and find the black box. Sure. Beware, stalker. There are many animals around there looking for an easy snack, so be careful. Good luck. All right. I'm listening. Shouldn't be a problem with the uh, the items we're going to get out of this guy. But first of all, I think what I'm going to do okay. is just sell the M14 again. If you want to see it in use, just let me know. But I don't think I'm too interested in that. It made us a good 4,600. I'm listening now. Now the technician down here. Pretty much what you can do is you can up, pick bro? any 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 of three items that uh, he's gonna give you. Right. Let's get down to business. First, choose some armor. We have three types of armor. The first protects against various types of radiation. The second is a good all-rounder, and the third offers maximum protection from firearms and explosives. However, the weight is high and the ability to sprint is a costly upgrade. So if that didn't tell you it's an exoskeleton, then you probably haven't used uh, exoskeletons in the past. I'm going to choose the exo. I don't really see a reason to choose any other suits. The German suit is, uh, is fine. So we're overloaded. I can put this on, I think, and get some max weight. Oh no, this is going to be a problem. Okay, how are we going to do this? Let me turn here and drop the uh, the German suit. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm actually, drop now. the EXO, because I don't think I'm going to be wearing that. Oh, come on. Okay, take the German suit and drop the EXO. And then put on the bubble and the goldfish, yeah. That's how I wanted that to happen. So our weight's fine now. Now for weapons. Yes, now choose the weapon. Again, there's three options to choose from. The first is a sniper rifle with increased accuracy and power, and, it'll, and I'll give you five packs of cartridges for it. The second is a decent automatic rifle with an optics rail fitted with ten packs, fitted and ten packs of ammo. The third is a revolving grenade launcher with thirty charges. So I am definitely going to take the launcher. The sniper rifle is the M82, the Barrett M82, but I already have one of those. I strongly suggest you don't choose the sniper rifle or the machine gun. The launcher is going to be pretty much invaluable going through the underground areas. And you get 30 M203 grenades with it. Super valuable. 
super, super valuable. Might as well put that on to show you what it's like. And uh, this didn't really have any sights, so you sort of aim with that little... Uh, I can't really point to it, but uh, I'll put it right over the corner of this. It's that notch right there. So, we can put a scope on it, but I don't really find that there's any point in doing so. This guy's... I still want an M60, although I don't know how the hell I'm going to do that. Or get one, rather. Actually, let me see if this guy sells one up here. I made him sell uh, NATO sort of weapons, so maybe he will have some uh, form of M60. Come on, MC. Yeah, he does have an M60. How much does it cost? 60 grand. That'll blow like the rest of the cash I have. But, now here's where I'm going to have to make a decision. Let me go back down to the uh, the technician and just see how this, uh, this jacket, or not this jacket, what am I talking about? This exo stacks up. So, let's check our armor stats here. Yeah, the exo is a hell of a lot better. Hmm. Huh, I'm not sure what to do here. Really not sure. The armor is pretty poor on this, but I, th I think we have to keep the exo. I don't really see another option, and I am just going to throw the goldfish on there, not worry too much about radiate. I can't move with the goldfish on there? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Okay, put this on. Drop this now. Put this and this in. There we go. Would you get out of my way, dude? Seriously. Like, please. There we go. Now I'm going to have to figure out what I want to sell here. Because I obviously can't take it all. I'm probably going to have to stash away my uh, German suit somewhere. Can I sell anything at all? Yeah, but I don't want to. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go back to my stash location just on the ground between those buildings. Trust me, I'm not extremely happy about doing this, but uh, I, I'm fairly confident at this point that these items will not res despawn. rather. So here's what's going to happen. I've already transitioned levels and they're still here, so that's a good sign. I am going to drop the German suit. Do I want the gas mask? Uh, probably. I don't want the M79, though, although I'll keep it. Okay, that's good for now. That gets our weight down to 66 kilos. I am too overloaded to move. Why? Oh, crap. Okay, drop the... The XM8 then. Can I at least move now? Nope. Drop everything. I can move now. Okay, now go pick up the XO. Install some upgrades on it as soon as I itch my eye here. Man, that's annoying. Okay. Get the XO, install some upgrades into it to allow space for artifacts. And the upgrades are pretty cheap, so I might actually max the suit out. And then go back and pick out my loadout, because this is the suit we're going to be taking underground with us. Sweet. Now, this guy actually offers some pretty cheap upgrades, so what I'm going to do here is armor. I'm just going to get all the tier 1s. These are a bit more expensive than I thought. Uh, energy recovery. Essentially what I want to do is... Make it so I can have uh, two artifact slots. I don't think I need any more than that. I'm listening, man. Number of containers. So yeah, here we'll add one for three grand. This is getting pricey. Uh, I don't think we need that second tier, to be honest. And then uh, body armor weight minus ten. That's probably going to be valuable. Second gen night vision. Yes, I'll take that too. And then what else do I want? Armor. That protects against bites from mutants. Suit durability or armor? Uh, I'll take armor, actually. And then anything you want here. Impact is bulletproof capacity or uh, capabilities. Yeah, I'll, I'll take impact. How much does that cost, actually? 3500 that's not bad. Don't need anomaly protection here. Energy recovery. Servo motor, servo motor boosters. I am definitely going to take this. This allows us to sprint. Five grand, it's worth it. Okay, so that's all I'm going to put in here. 
It's good for now. This is going to be our uh, sort of mid-game suit. The German suit is still our end-game suit. Now I got to go back to my stash and pick up my loadout. And then I guess I could go do the hospital mission, or I could just do that helicopter one and uh, call it a day. That might be what I do. We'll see. Okay, where's the XM8? There's the XM8. Give me that. Oh, crap. I picked up literally everything. Alright, at least I can sort through some, uh, some of my stuff here. So why not just get a loadout together for um, getting through the hospital and the underpass right now? This would be ideal. If I could carry this, that'd be perfect. Can I drop the scopes too? Don't think I need them. I said drop. Okay, what do I have to get rid of here? Uh, drop all of this. Drop all of this. Drop most of this. I'll keep some. Keep like 120 AP rounds of that. The scopes don't need. Again, I don't think anything can despawn, so I should be fairly safe doing this. Drop this. Don't need the uh, 9x39. Don't need this, obviously. I could probably just sell that, but meh. And hold on, I didn't even equip my artifacts, but that's fine. I kind of want to pack lightly. So that is our new loadout. Here's our just pile of loot. Good lord, that's a lot of boxes of ammo. <laughs> Sweet. And we do have night vision here too. Great. Now, do I want to go do that helicopter mission? It's right here, obviously. Uh... Hmm, good question. I actually think I'm going to go to the hospital now. I can do that uh, helicopter mission anytime. We're going to have to come back here a couple times, I think. So there's no real rush in doing that right away, and I, I kind of want to do the hospital while it's dark and then be able to get to Pripyat by, uh, by daytime. Hopefully. It's not like it matters all that much doing uh, the Pripyat underground here. mission at that night. That is a weird mask. Okay, so once again, this is the way you get to the hospital. Just gonna make sure all is good with my loadout. Take some anti-rads here. Medkits are okay. Yeah, medkits are fine. Looks good. Let me put this on. Make sure it's loaded. Yeah, it's loaded. Okay, sweet. Let's do it then. 